Me. I'm done buying bottles till after Christmas. Also me. Check out my eight bottle bottle haul. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. So I was able to get a few bottles that I couldn't pass up and I can't not talk about them. You know, this seems to be one of the things that you guys enjoy the most is seeing what I'm adding to the adding to the bar, adding to the collection. And we'll begin with this high and wicked the jury. Uh, this is cask strength at 104 proof. Um, it is straight bourbon whiskey finished in ex Madeira casks. It is 15 years old and then finished. Um, it is a mash bill of 84% corn, 8% rye, and 8% malted barley, which pretty much means it's tickle. And normally, you guys know I'm not an enormous tickle guy, but apparently if you age it for 15 years and put it in an ex-Madera cask, I'm going to love it because this is fantastic. We did a Your Drinking Buddy event over at Nana's Kitchen, and he set up a double blind flight for us. We had no idea what we were drinking. And this was the crowd favorite. Everyone really liked this one. And so I had to get one. Uh, if you're interested in participating like in stuff like that in the future, uh, there's a link to become a channel member down below. Um, next up. Yeah, we'll talk about these two. Uh, we'll go this one. So Total Wine usually does their... Um, surprise raffles where you might get an email and it's like you get a Blanton's um and for ten dollars more than anyone else charges um and, or hey you get a Blanton store pick for thirty dollars more than anyone charges uh that's the joke we always make because you can get Blanton's fairly easily in in Tucson if you if you hunt you, you gotta hunt it's not growing on trees or anything here but if you hunt around you'll find it um Long story short, uh, the surprise raffles have not really been my jam. I don't think it's a very fair process to maybe get a bottle that you don't want. So they sent an email out saying, hey, tomorrow we're going to have 25 bottles of Weller, Weller 12 be here. Uh, Grand Reserve members only. And I don't know, I was like 22nd in line, got my Weller 12, left happy. So I hope they do that in the future because this was a lot better than the surprise raffles, I think. Because if I wasn't interested in the bottle, like let's say they had just sent an email out saying, come up here for Blanton's, I wouldn't have showed up. Um, I like Blanton's, I'm not talking crap about Blanton's, but there's just other things I'd rather drink. Next up, yeah, we gotta, we gotta talk about the elephant in the room, which is these very absolute crazy Friday barrels. So I hate to talk about something you guys basically can't get. Uh, this one is bottle two of five, and this one is bottle eight of 12. This one's 11 years, nine months, and this one is eight years, nine months. 120 proof, 110 proof. Uh, what are these? Well, um, there's a guy who is bottling stuff on um, in his garage, I guess, and his company is Friday Barrel. Uh, if you Google it, you won't find anything because I couldn't. Um, but it sounds like he's just a guy on Reddit, and I don't even have a connection to him. I have a friend that does. Uh, so I was able to get these. I did pour this one, which we will try here in a second. This is the 11 year, seven months. Um, they, I, I, uh, my friend here, Nick, he gave me a sample of a previous batch and it was so good. I really liked it. So I jumped on getting these. I really am looking forward to trying them. And this one is just so dark and opaque. I was a little worried that it was even possibly, um, oxidized because it's so dark in color. Uh, but it, um, Nick has already tried it. He bought, he got one of these two and then he said it's not, he says it's very good. So I'm looking forward to trying this one too, but I wanted to try one of them. And for some reason I decided to say, you know, the 120 proof one, let's go. It's like apricot and oak, little brown sugar on here too. Oh yeah. That is tasty. It's proofy. It's punching me in the face with proof, but it's peachy. It's uh, brown sugar, bourbon, vanilla, little oak presence. Um, great mouthfeel. Very nice mouthfeel on it. Um, definitely giving me like uncut vibes where you're getting that nice mouthfeel. Really good stuff. I'm I'm looking forward to trying both of these. Or we'll try this one as well. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you if you try to hunt these guys, you probably can't get them but i think it's something cool that this guy is doing so that's why i decided to highlight in this bottle haul so we have two here and then we have a, a, a little bit of a weird one 
I got a Twins of Elmer. Now these came from one of you, a good friend of the channel, uh, really wanted one of my bottles, um, despite the fact that, uh, you know, I needed to use it for a video. So he let me use it for a video and traded these. So I definitely got the better end of the deal here because um, these are worth more than, than the bottle I traded. But, um, you know, it. He, he really wanted it. I said, you know, I'm getting the better end of the deal. Are you sure you want to do this? And he said, yes. So these two Elmers will probably, I'm probably going to drink one of them. And then the other one I will probably trade uh, up. And, uh, you know, he was well aware that I planned on doing that because you can trade these pretty well. And trading it up for something else is something that I like to do. You guys know I like to do the trading. Anyway, drinking buddies, um, if you're on Reddit and you want to be a total Reddit sleuth, maybe you can figure out where to get Friday barrels from, because I couldn't. Um, but, uh, you know, this jury is very good. You know, Weller 12 is always a classic. All right, drinking buddies, so you saw the first six, and well, I got two more. And I couldn't rob you of them, because one I'm really excited for, and the other one is just so epic, I can't wait. So... First, I'm really excited for this one. I haven't gotten a chance to try it yet, uh, but I was able to get the found... Wow. I was I was able to get this Whiskey Del Bach Eau d'Isla from the distillery. Um, they gave me this as a media sample, so I will review this, give you my honest feedback on this. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for this one. I liked last year's quite a bit. You guys know I am not a peated guy, but I love the mesquite, and this is... You know, Whiskey Del Bach doing their mesquite thing to try to emulate some of those flavors you get off of a peated scotch while not being peaty. <laughs> um, really, really dig this bottle. Or, well, I, at least I really dug last year's and I'm really excited for it. And last but certainly not least, we have the PS de Resistance. One of you guys helped me get this. One of my channel members helped me get this, which is really freaking cool. And yeah, it's one of my unicorns, probably my top unicorn left that I still have not been able to achieve. I was able to achieve tonight. GTS 2023. 135 proof. I cannot friggin' wait to try this. I would be popping it right now. Normally my rule is if I get a special bottle, I have to, um, I have to pop it that night. I don't want a special bottle to sit in my closet, collect dust, and I get in a car accident and die tomorrow. I, if I get a special bottle, I want to drink it. But um, I want to pop this with Dwayne because I did promise him uh, a George T. Stag flight. He doesn't know that yet, but I promised him a really cool flight. Anyway, long story short, um, I would pop it tonight, but I have a really bad headache. So that's the main reason I'm not hot. Pop popping it tonight. Anyway, drinking buddies, this has been really fun. I don't know how I am this lucky to have great people in my life that are able to do this for me. I don't know how I'm able to have great distilleries like Whiskey Del Bach who are willing to take a chance on me and send me a bottle review. Uh, man, it's just great to be, you know, this blessed. And I, am, I thank all of you for this because I would not be here if you guys didn't like the videos, if you guys didn't subscribe to my channel. I wouldn't be here. So, so just keep in mind that you're helping this happen for me and you know, I can try this and tell you if you should be hunting for it or spending, you know, a lot of money on it. I can tell you if this is something you should be buying. Anyway, drinking buddies, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have your drinking buddy.